Hello all, my name is Justin Barrett, aka Nowhere Brain. Um, this is the first lesson we're going to do, and we're going to be modeling our head. So, just basically in my default scene, if you watch the first video, <coughs> you'll pretty much know where we are. Or, excuse me, not the first video, but the uh, free uh, video, a little something about B Blender. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, Go into edit mode by hitting tab, um, A to deselect all that, control R to divide loop, and I'm just going to divide it right there. Clicking once to uh, get the division, then clicking again to commit. Let's go to the front, my hotkey, or our hotkey is one. Um, B for box, let's grab these vertices, and let's redo that, hit A to deselect, and let's grab these vertices again. Um, X erase vertices uh, we don't have backside on or actually we have it off so let's do that again there we go now let's add our mirror modifier let's turn on clipping and enable it during edit mode yeah let's turn off backside now okay so that's uh, basically our head yeah I say that every video and that's not really that funny but anyway, uh, let's go ahead and start adding a little bit of uh, geometry to it. I'm going to add a loop right here, control R, left click, and bring this up, and left click again to commit. I'm just going to grab uh, these faces, E to extrude them. Okay, let's grab these in the front, pull them out, and I'm actually going to turn off that widget because I don't like it. And, yeah, basically, yeah. Anyway, let's go into edges. Let's grab this edge and hit V. That's going to separate it. And I'm going to hit Y to constrain it to Y and pull it back. And let's hit G to grab and move and constrain it to Z by hitting Z. Let's pull that down a little bit. And let's grab this one again. I'm going to hit F. That's going to create a face right there. And let's do the same thing at the top, V, Y. Let's add a division right here, Control R. Okay. And let's add one more right here for now. Now then, let's go to the front, and I'm going to go to vertices. And I just want to kind of start tweaking this out. G and to grab and move and let's start making a little bit more of a head shape out of this. Those are in the back. Okay, let's put a division right there. And hold down shift and then right click on that and that will deselect it. G to grab and move, Y to constrain to Y. Let's pull that back a little bit. Let's go ahead and go to the right hand side. Hotkey is three. Let's grab that, pull it forward. This one, this one, and that pretty much rounds out the back of the head. Let's pull these up a little. Whoops. There we go. I wanted the center one. Just kind of tweaking this out. There we go. Okay, let's take these three in the front, pull them out. Let's pull this bottom one down a little. <coughs> Excuse me. And there we go. Getting a little bit further along. I want the eye to be right about here, so I'm going to add another division right there. Let's go to the right. Let's just move that back a little bit. Kind of pull this one up. Okay. <clears throat> Always tweaking these things. I want to kind of start getting um, a little bit of the flow down. Um, but I'm going to need more divisions. Put one right in here, 
and for some reason, oh okay, I didn't think it went all the way through the way it was highlighted, uh, the specularity of that face. So let's just uh, G, grab move, Y, split in just a little bit, or a little forward, there we go, let's go to the front, and I'll just select these top two. G, grab move, let's kind of shape out that a little bit better. Oops. I just move that one so I can get to this one in the back. I shouldn't really be moving those. But I did. And no one's going to stop me. These are going to be the eyes. I'm just kind of giving a basic shape. We're going to change it about 800 times. I tweak constantly, so. And as a matter of fact, let's go to the side, and I don't even really need uh, this back of the head right now, so let's hit A to deselect. A is actually a toggle for selecting all. So if I hit A again, it deselects it, A selects it, deselects it. So if you just have one, it's reading it as a selection, hit A and it deselects it. Anyway, I'm going to hit B, and that's going to bring up our box selection. If I hit B again, it's going to bring up a brush selection. I'm just going to right-click and cancel out of that. But anyway, let's go back to the box selection. It's B one time. And let's just select all those vertices right there. X, erase vertices. There we go. And because those vertices were making up that face at the bottom, it deleted those faces as well. <coughs> So let's turn off backside again. And I know a couple things about the way I want the mesh to flow, or the topology to flow. And um, we don't have uh, the geometry to really change it right now, but uh, we're going to change all that. I'm going to hit E, and then it's going to extru extrude that region. But I'm not going to move my mouse. I'm just going to left click again to commit to it and hit. S in just a second to shrink it down. But first I want to show you these little black dots right here. That's just telling me that there are faces right there, but both those edges on either side of the face are sharing the same 3D space since I didn't uh, move it when I extruded it. So if we scale it down, you'll see those faces appear. Let's scale that down on Z as well. There we go. Let's go to the front. And they're a little bit far apart. G to grab and move. Let's just pull them in. Okay. Now then. Let's go back to our vertices. Control tab brings up your selection mode. Otherwise you can just select them down here. And if you hold down shift and click these, you can get a context sensitive selection where you can basically select anything or all types. Even if you hold shift, you can select all kinds of different things. So, but we're just going to go to vertices. Anyway, um, let's go to the right. Let's grab that and pull it forward. Pull that forward. Maybe I'm going to pull some of these forward. These are actually going to kind of start making up our chin a little bit. But I want this band. Um, I'm going to have to divide it, but I'm going to have the band uh, coming up right along here. And I want it to kind of curl around right here to the back of the head. It's going to help uh, form some geometry we'll use later on for the ear. So uh, in order to do that, I'm going to grab that vert, hit V to tear it, or rip it, or whatever you want to think of it as. And let's just pull this one down. Actually, I'm going to actually delete that face. X faces. There we go. And let's control R right here to add that division. Control tab. Let's grab these edges. S to scale. Y to constrain it to Y. And 0 will just flatten it. Basically to 0 on Y. So let's grab that top edge and E to extrude it. Let's rotate it a little bit. G, grab and move. Let's scale it up a little. And 
also going to get rid of this face here. Face is gone. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this edge and this edge and hit F. That'll form a face right there. Same thing right here. Whoops. F. I accidentally hit D. And let's rotate that a little bit more. We don't need to get too complicated with it. Whoops. Let's go back to the right. Holding down shift, I'm selecting all those. Extrude that. There we go. And let's just take this one. And ah, I might have gotten a little ahead of myself. Let's rotate it. Actually, let's undo that. Let's extrude it. And then we'll rotate it. G, grab the move. S, scale it on Z, down to zero. Let's grab that, pull it forward. There we go, grab that one. Taking some of these down a little bit. Okay. <coughs> probably better if I were to be using um, vertices for what I'm doing right there as far as moving all this stuff around. I'm not sure what I have right there. Okay. Let's, uh, let me add a division right here. Grab these edges. I'm just going to hit W. It brings up a specials menu. And I'm just going to say subdivide and it creates some triangles and stuff. I'm not going to be concerning myself with it right now. Let's grab all these edges that surround these two triangles and hit Alt-J. That's going to make it a face. I'm going to hit Smooth one time. That's also in the Specials menu. You can go to W down to Smooth. Anyway. So, and I might have uh, jumped the gun a little bit on that. We really don't even need any of these right now. So, Let's go back to faces. I'm a horrible person, aren't I? <laughs> X. Erase those faces. There we go. <coughs> now then. Let's control tab. Grab these vertices. Let's go to the right. Grab and move. I know that I'm kind of going to want those to sort of head into the ear. So I just want to move them while I can. And add a division right here. There we go. Start grabbing those. It's going to start helping to define our cheek and nose a little bit. And I'm not sure if I even want, um, if I weld those two right there across right here, it'll kind of create a better band going around here of polys, just like in the eye right here. But um, I'm sure there's another way. And I think what I'll do is actually add another division right here. And actually what's going to make this easier is if I get rid of the faces. X faces. Okay. Let's go back to those edges. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> let's hit W and subdivide those. Um, let's go ahead and right away make that a face. Alt J. And right here Let's rotate that. Control E. Rotate edge. Let's do that again. There we go. Now I can grab this one and we can weld it. Alt M. We'll just collapse it. And we'll do the same thing here. There we go. It's a little bit better flow right there. <coughs> so let's go up here to the front. <clears throat> Excuse me. I also want to have um, a band of polys that basically are going to come down right here around the mouth or the bottom of the mouth. This is my drawing. I like to do a drawing in every video. But anyway, um, 